today I'm here with a new video and today we're here with first impression as well but one of my absolute favorite brands has released a new product and I need to try it and that is of course Linda Holberg uh, she has released or they have released their second palette I have their first palette I have everything from them so yeah um, the first palette that is called the infinity palette and this looks like this I have used which I think I used this one as blush and this one as highlighter this is one of my favorite highlighters you maybe can see the glow there um I love this palette this is a super good palette and now they have released their second palette and this is the infinity deep palette and I love the packaging um one thing I don't love is it is that it's called the infinity deep I would wish for another name but the palette looks as stunning as the packaging and it says Linda Holberg infinity deep palette Linda Holberg and if you open it it's a mirror and then it's a little plastic and this is a multifunctional product all the products are and I really love that because I I think it's a smart move and the little baby looks like this I am so excited for this palette um I ordered it the first day when it came out I ordered it in the morning before I went to work and I got it the next day so I have been looking so much forward to try this and it looks like this and this black shade is in the other palette and it's called Fornax I'm okay with it I would have wanted another color but I'm okay with it so we can compare them to so they look like this and I think they go pretty good together so I'm going to use this today and I want to do something red I guess you're not surprised so I think I will use this Marsh Cusar and Solar so I think I will use these two on my lid and this one underneath my eyes I think I will do this the Mars one is it looks like a little bit of shimmer but when I swatched it it looked pretty matte so we will start and I will start with an eyeshadow primer so I don't know if I'm maybe going to do a halo eye I don't know if this is my new thing or not but I should I do a halo eye yes I want to do something like a halo eye so I will take this Marsh I don't know how to pronounce it in English because in Sweden the month and the planet is and the candy is the same word it's mush okay so we okay hands down I love this I love it I love it I love it I love it I may be a little bit biased is that what you call it because I love Linda Holberg and I love the brand because the brand is standing for it said on this one there are no do's and no and oh my god they are there are no do's and don'ts your face and your body your rules and they really stand for like you can do anything with makeup you can do whatever you want with makeup and Linda she also stands for that herself and I really love that about her and I have followed her for like the beginning of her for you that don't know she started out with a beauty blog and then she is a makeup artist from the beginning and now she is a makeup artist influencer brand owner 
I don't know, but I have followed her for such a long time and she is she's really her own in one way and I really really love that about her and I really really love this shade. This is totally up my alley. You hear the car outside? That is our neighbor. Or it's not a car, it's like this moped cars. <laughs> it only goes in like 30 kilometers an hour. No, maybe 35. 45? 30. I don't know. Okay, I think I want to take this all the way up to my brow in the inner corner. I know when I started with makeup, I I didn't think it was okay to go all the way up to your brow, but now I really like it, and I don't care what you can do and can't. Can and can't shouldn't do and do because I really like this okay so I really like this shadow a lot and now I think I will take well, I know I will take I will take Marsh again and do it on my outer corner and inner corner and then I will put Qsar I don't know the name this one and put it in my in the middle of my lid so it will be a halo eye I hope I think it would be it should be a halo eye when I'm done and I think I need to get some glasses because my vision sight isn't what it used to be I can see and I don't have any headaches but it's not as good as when I was younger. I don't know why I'm talking about this when I'm doing the first impression. Because I guess nobody of you have wondered about, hmm, should she, would she get glasses? Should she? But I'm saving that for next year, I think. I turn 30 next year, so I think I will save the glasses for that. I don't even know if I need glasses, but my boyfriend thinks that I need them. And I think I need them too. Now I will take this Qsar. I can name all the other shades except for this one, and I choose to put this in my look. Okay, let's go. Okay, this maybe needs a sticky base. I see that now. I think it does. I think it do need a sticky base. Because I want this to really stand out. I think I can get it work, but it will not be as pigmented as I want it to be. I think maybe I should try a little bit more. And no. I will try with a sticky base. Glitter glue is on. Let's go back into this color. And now we are talking. Maybe this wasn't the best for doing a halo eye. I maybe should have put this underneath my eye instead. Okay, I think I should have gone with a solar instead of this one because I don't think this look... These are pretty uh, orange and the red one is pretty similar so you maybe don't see it that much as I have wanted it to do so I will do the same on the other eye 
Okay, this could have been more fun than this, but I really like it. I don't know how much it will show on camera. Okay, so I will take the solar underneath my eyes and we will see how this works. This will get stuck without sticky base. I will go in with Marsh instead underneath my eyes. Okay, and I will put the happy mood in my waterline and this is the yellow pen from Linda Holberg as well. And then I will put on some mascara and I think I fucked up my base, my finger. Shit. Um, because I think I had eyeshadow on my finger. Okay, I will put on some mascara and then I have to do something with my lips. Then the mascara is on and I also put on a lipstick from Linda Hel Holberg. Linda Halberg. And uh, this is the pink opal. This is one of my favorite nude lipstick. And these lipsticks, they are so nice on the lips. I have very dry lips right now. And these works wonderful. So this is the finished look. I I love this March March color very very much, and I I am happy with this palette. It is vegan. I think I think they only do vegan things right now. Yeah, it's vegan, and I love the packaging. It's one of the prettiest package I have or one of the coolest I don't know it's not maybe pretty but it's a cool packaging and I am happy with the look and I will absolutely do more looks with this palette and I am glad how it turned out except for I think I got some eyeshadow here I think I had it on my finger and then I touched my face when I'm putting the pen in the what is it called in the waterline so this was my first impression of the Linda Holberg palette I will leave or you can buy this palette if you live in Sweden Norway or Finland you can buy it at Kix or if you live out in none of these countries you can buy from their own website and I will leave it down in the description box so I really hope you enjoyed this video. I am happy with this palette. I am... I was so glad when they announced that we're going to release a new palette. So I really love this palette. I think it's a good complement to this one. The only thing I want them to release now is a setting spray. That would be so fun. They could do that. The only thing with my palette, it's a little bit crooked. I don't know if you can see, no, you can't see it, but it's, it's a little bit crooked. I don't care. I love it. But it's, it's really crooked. Why is it so crooked? It's like... Maybe it's just have been laying strange. Okay. <laughs> Enough with that. This was my first impression with the Linda Holberg Infinity Deep palette. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!